a very good afternoon to all of you today i am praveen patwari and aaj hum log welcome karenge hamare guest speaker ko jinka naam hai shruti mishra ji so uh, without wasting any more time i would like to invite uh, shruti mishra ji uh, she has cleared four exams and recently uh, she has scored uh, uh, all india rank 1 in the cs1 actuarial statistics exam so shruti ji the stage is all yours So, सबसे पहले तो आप हम लोग को बताइए कि आपका क्या प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी रहा था सी एस वन के लिए एंड आपने कैसे कैसे प्रिपरेशन किया है सो प्लीज गाइड एस ऑन दैट यस यूर ऑडिबल श्रुति सो एज यू नो दैट आई स्टार्ट प्रिपेयर फॉर सी एस वन एंड सी एस टू टूगेदर but uh, uh, i started in i had already thought about uh, giving cs1 in july but i was not done with the syllabus so i obviously thought that it's not a good idea to go half in so i dropped that idea then for december again i thought that i'll give it this time i was starting from scratch and obviously after exams it's very hard to sit to study again so i started in september then in from september to october mid i finished cs1 then i started with cs2 And in the middle, I was picking up CS one a little bit, but then uh, CS two, I was almost done with this uh, syllabus uh, by uh, November end. November end, but I knew that I hadn't prepared any previous papers, or and I wasn't even done fully with the uh, compiler. So I dropped the idea. So it's not a good idea to go half in. Like you say that we should give the paper no matter what, but I wasn't confident enough. So in the last ten days, I just. Read CS one again. So I just wanted to clear it, get done with it once for all, and uh, then I just uh, revised all the notes that you had given, went through them. Uh, I didn't have much time to go through the past papers, so the PDFs that you had set in the uh, the links that you had in the drive about the previous questions in the IS paper, IAI papers. So I went through them twice, and then I gave the exam. and when i was coming out of the exam i actually thought that ye gaya isme nahi hona cuz i don't know why but i've just given three papers before this but this was the most difficult exam that i'd given abhi tak so yeah and then uh, that day when i cleared it i was like okay it's a miracle yeah i'm happy but then you called me that say i topped air one that was a like i i didn't even dream of that so, yeah. okay so जैसा कि हम लोग सबको पता है वी ऑल नो दैट सी एस वन इज द बेस ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड इट्स अ रियली डिफिकल्ट एग्जाम टू क्रैक गिवन द डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इन्वॉल्व देर इज आर प्रोग्रामिंग सो फॉर द नेक्स्ट आई आई अटेम्प्ट एंड फॉर द नेक्स्ट आई एफ ओ आई अटेम्प्ट आई एफ ओ आई अटेम्प्ट वी आर हैविंग रफली टू मंथ्स ऑफ टाइम एंड फॉर आई आई अटेम्प्ट वी आर हैविंग रफली थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ टाइम सो कैन यू प्लीज गिव अस अ रफ शेड्यूल दैट हाउ शुड द स्टूडेंट्स प्रिपेयर एंड वॉट शुड बी द App combination for paper A and paper B, along with the typing practice for IFO students, uh, so that they 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 can uh, easily clear the exam and how much time is required. So can you please throw some light on what was your strategy? You you uh, talked about the timelines in general, but we want some specific information so that uh, the students are able to a uh, little bit follow that path and they can also score a, a good number of marks. okay got it so the thing is first of all uh, i think i think that if you have a good amount of time to study like at least 6 to 7 hours a day then two months should be enough but if uh, you cannot take out time like 6 to 7 hours is a lot in a day so if not that then i think you need at least three months and if you do your best you will be able to that's not a problem but that's the thing first you need to start with the notes like the notes should be written very properly because you need to go through them at least twice when you'll be revising even then so uh, then the concept should be very clear in cs1 then only you'll be able to use them in r as well so r becomes a little easier if your cs1 paper a is properly you're going through it properly like you're revising it again and again because it's very easy to forget the previous parts so you need to go through it again and again then uh, if you are practicing paper a in the morning i believe that in a day you should practice both at least 
because then it becomes a little easier because as you're getting done with paper a, you're also getting done with paper b so it goes in that process then uh, for the ify papers i believe uh practice yeah typing uh because i have given ii papers also in typing so it takes some time for cs1 uh there's not that much of uh, notations there still so it will take comparatively less time than cm1 but yeah you need to practice typing so i think more going through the mocks and uh, uh, and trying to uh prepare for the uh, previous papers properly sitting for them as well uh through the time while uh, typings would be you'll be able to be done with it you don't need to actively uh practice typing just go through the mocks and it will be fine yeah uh then okay so let's say uh one more query that uh students in normally they have is uh like once you start moving towards the higher chapters yeah. so pehle ke jo chapters hai वो थोड़ा सा धुंधला हो जाता है एंड उस पे मतलब उतना हम लोग को याद नहीं रहता है तो वॉट वॉज योर रिविजन स्ट्रैटेजी मतलब रिविजन स्ट्रैटेजी कैसा होना चाहिए ताकि जो पहले के जो टॉपिक्स है उसको हम लोग भूले नहीं मतलब ओके सो फॉर दैट सर पहले तो एज आई वॉज गेटिंग डन स्टार्टिंग का चैप्टर्स करना इज कम्पेरेटिवली ईजी बिकॉज उनमें कम टाइम लगता है बट एंडिंग के चैप्टर में थोड़ा ज्यादा टाइम लगता है आई फेल दैट so when i was doing the ending wala chapters i picked up the mat to practice the uh, like the back papers and like a little bit of uh, notes revision so keep starting wala chapters ek bar uh, revise ho jaye yaad rahe ki ekdam se insaan bhulna jaye paper ke time pe okay and yeah. next question to you is jaise generally we see a lot of students uh they neglect the mock exams right we take yeah. part mocks as well as full mocks so what is the relevance of giving mocks uh in uh, clearing the exam uh, nicely and uh, revision uh, like what is the importance of mocks in uh, the study some mocks are important they are actually very important because first of all for ifoa you get you can get half of your typing practice done there right Uh, for ii once if you're giving mocks then you're able to understand because you always put different questions in there so that's a good uh, idea because uh, we are able to do different type of questions because we know ii mein kuch bhi aa jata hai because uh, this time also i remember ki uh, you had written uh, there was just one and one and a half page notes about scale deviance and everything and there was a 30 mark question in that so mocks are also very important because you're able, you're able to focus on the small topics as well because they are also important you never know like you cannot say like this is a bigger topic so iska chance zyada hai aneka that does it doesn't happen here so jo fresh students hote they generally start their career with either cm1 or cs1 mm -hmm. and whenever you are giving cs1 as your first or your second exam you see uh, you need to basically work out paper b part our programming which is quite fresh so yeah. what was your approach to our programming and how much time did you devote so like just give us some uh, tips on paper b also yeah so so for paper b first of all uh, the basics are very important if you if you properly clear on the basics it ha half of the part becomes easy there because you will be able because uh, moving forward you will be able you will be going to apply those concepts that you have learned in basics so first our basics should be very clear then concept should be of paper it should be clear so you are able to put that like uh, actually do that in uh, b so yeah obviously you need to practice it also because practice ke bina to nahi hota hai cause even paper mein it takes a, the questions are quite lengthy so it a uh, time is a constraint there so you need to be very fast with that you need to be like practice it daily till the exam so that you will be able to easily uh, like at least not even finish the paper but at least do enough so that you able to clear it okay okay so uh like any student who would like to put in any query regarding cs1 jo un log ko samajhna hai like any strategy or uh like you can raise your hand or you can uh type in the chat box anyone who would like to ask any query uh regarding the cs1 uh, exam okay so uh, one more thing in cs1 is you see there are a lot of 
uh, chapters that have come up from the CT6 uh, part, like uh, starting from Bayesian and GLM is there. So these topics are a bit difficult to crack. And uh, so how do you plan uh, like these four chapters which have come up from uh, the newer, uh, like pehle to CS1 ke syllabus mein, these were not there. So how do you do uh, prepare for these uh, chapters? So first of all, we need to go through the notes. Like the mat is very important for those because previous, uh, like the back questions of the mat are very important because uh, whatever you're learning in these chapters, you're able to actually see how the questions are done there. Notes, you need to go through them. Then you need to do the questions. Start with it because that develops your concepts even more. And obviously, these chapters are you need to revise them very regularly. One that you will forget. Okay. And like, abhi jase, uh, we are having two months of time. So, mm -hmm. agar, uh, if any student hasn't uh, done that much of compiler, so mm -hmm. what advice you would like to put into them? Like, uh, what is the role of compiler which contains IFOA past exam questions? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is the role of compiler? Like, how thoroughly uh, one should be doing the compiler and the class notes? So, class notes, so you need to go through it twice before the paper at least and then for the compiler i believe that eight bar to properly do it and second time do the questions that you marked the the ones that you, you weren't able to understand at first right and then there's a third time when you're just going through the papers because uh, it's not that the you don't have enough time before the papers right so you just need to mark those small questions and this write down the concept that was used in that because there are questions which are uh, done a little differently you won't be able to do them if they uh, come in front of you for the first time just as some says and as shivangidi also says ki come question now but concept clear ho. so that's important okay so one one question has been come up in the chat box is uh like there are newer topics coming up like you pointed out uh the iai exam right mm -hmm. So how do you deal with such new topics and uh, uh, like how do you prepare for those new topics and what importance to give it in terms of hours of study uh, to these new topics and if there is a new question because see I have given my CT3 exam from IAI and uh, like stats ka paper is like that if it's coming or not coming or not coming or not coming or not So yeah. how do you deal with these situations? Okay so I'll just give you an example. Abhi ka paper like jo December mein hua tha, it was I thought it was very hard. I haven't given this level of difficulty ka exam. So, but the thing is, that's the thing. New topics, uske liye questions nahi hai paas, obviously. So we need to be clear on the concept. Ki agar aaye, to we're able to do our best to focus on it. Or agar nahi aara hai, to do. Pick up another question. Because you don't have enough time to focus on every question. Right? So you need to just do your best at that point of time just go through the concepts for the new topics i can say that okay so like they say aap dekhenge to iai ka jo papers hota like in general what advice you would like to put into the iai students like you have been consistently giving exams from iai and touch wood uh, the results have been good from your end so uh, what consistency and what principles you follow for IEI specific exams? Like, uh, please give us some uh, uh, ta like uh, light on IEI exams. Like what extra should one need to do to clear the IEI exams in the first attempt? Yeah, so for IEI, so you, you also know that the pass rate is quite low, right? So, so for that, first of all, you need to do your best, OK? First of all, that's the thing. Second of all, uh, focus on the uh, compiler, very important, because you will build up your concepts, and then you can practice the II questions, which are a little different, right? Then you can focus on those as well. And I believe II ke liye previous year papers, like abhi, previous three terms, so I thought that II previous year papers are very important. But even with that, your concept should be very clear, because you don't know what type of question they'll pick up because even in the December term I actually didn't realize like where the questions had come from they were so different so your concepts should be very very clear and specifically for II I think that you need to 
just do your best and this uh baki it's on luck yeah just do your best and just forget about it okay so one of the questions which have come up in the chat box is also when one should start practicing typing on word uh since too much see uh this question i would like to answer because uh she has given pen and paper based exam so typing palak you should start immediately because you need to basically do the full paper in ms word only so definitely uh typing aapko abhi se chalu karna chahiye and aapko dheere dheere karke ye try karna chahiye ki 100% jo hai aap ms word pe aao right the second part of the uh, question i would like you to answer shruti first focus should be on completing the syllabus or simultaneously we have to practice this is the first question and then the student is asking also how much time should be devoted to r every day is required uh, or first theory part needs to be completed and then we can focus on r so how would you like to deal with that question uh, okay so by practice you mean you have to practice r right so i am assuming that so as you starting with this syllabus yeah. so for the first part first of all like you complete one two chapter at least three four chapters start with that immediately complete the basics as you're starting with the first three four chapters because you need to apply it directly on us so that a part of it is done i think it's better to just do it together rather than leave it for the leave it for later because that becomes a burden at that time and you don't have uh, that much of time at the end like if there's like a 15 20 even a month left it becomes quite difficult to start r at that time because you won't be able to get that uh, level of confidence even and even the speed that you read so start with it immediately as you start with the paper uh, the prep paper eh? okay thanks a lot thank yeah. you sir any more any, any any yeah there is a question in the chat box there would be college semester exams just after i for april attempt and it seems hard for me to handle studying both as i'm used to only focusing on one thing how to handle both so can you please answer this cuz even i am not good at time management i need to learn that from you so uh, basically you need to be very consistent kashish because uh, like college exams ke liye hamara jo tendency hota hai ki hum log ek do din pehle se padhna chalu karte hain right and if there are five exams and there is the break of two weeks so i would like that ki aap abhi se college ke liye thoda thoda padho so aapka smooth out ho jayega wo cheez and aapka flow break nahi hoga and ye question main tumse puchna chahta hu like how did you uh, plan your studies aisa tha kya ki aap ek din padhte the fir do din break ya fir aap consistently padhte the like what according to you is the importance of being consistent maybe if you are studying for 30 minutes in a day but aapko padhna hai so is this the right strategy or there is something else so the thing is i started my journey quite late obviously but the thing is from the start i as you say discipline is the most important If you're not studying in a day, it it you will just forget that half will be done, and then last ke one month me it's just left there and nahi hota hai. Obviously, you need to start from the start. Like two three months left, you can still do your best. But discipline is very important. You just need to sit and study. Like even if you cannot, you know the journey. Like everyone knows the journey we are on. It's not just one two papers. It's thirteen. So you need to be disciplined from the start. So a habit becomes a habit that you have to study. So that will happen. Yeah. 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 you all can raise your hands yes yes you all can raise your hand and you can ask the question yes prinna you can just switch on your mic and you can ask the question um, hello everybody the question that i have is uh, what is uh, how should i start studying like uh, should i first focus on the lessons that are being provided and then go with the books or simultaneously Uh, uh you know listen to the lectures and complete the topic that is being taught on that day because i feel uh, when i do simultaneously it takes much longer for me to complete the syllabus okay i can understand that because obviously well, it's not easy to take out that much of time in a day first of all if you you need to think smartly also right if there's just two months left 
it's not possible for you to go through each and every chapter of the mat right but if you're from ii yes, i'll yes. strictly say that at least do the back questions very important the questions in the middle as well and it not should be enough if you don't have time but if you do please go through the mat cuz kabhi bhi kuch bhi aa jata hai and uh, starting may you can start with the lessons go through them uh, do the paper b again and when you're moving on to revision you can just go through a little bit of mat cuz every day obviously subh like uh, notes and then r and then mat uthana is not possible i can understand but every alternate day or even like the at the end of the week you can go through the chapters a little bit so you understand ki jo pada hai ha wo hi hai so uh, anyone else who would like to ask any other question any any question related to cs1 any planning or they all can uh, switch on your mic and you all can ask the question yes sir uh, mere ko ek question puchna yes you can ask सर होता क्या है इसमें के सीएसओ में सर अपने को कॉन्सेप्ट और वो सब क्लियर है पर सर जब क्वेश्चन सोल्व करना बैठते हैं ना तो कभी स्टार्ट नहीं हो पाता ना तो फिर पता नहीं चलता और फिर सॉल्यूशन देखते हैं तब पता चलता है ऐसे स्टार्ट किया होता तो हो जाता क्वेश्चन तो सर उसके लिए क्या करें सो फॉर दैट आई कैन से कि इफ यू स्टार्ट विद द कंपाइलर ऑब्वियसली स्टार्टिंग में नहीं आईडिया पड़ता है कि क्वेश्चन कैसे क्लियर करना मतलब क्वेश्चन कैसे करना है तो यू कैन लुक एट थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन मैंने भी पहले ऐसे किया आई लुक थ्रू द क्वेश्चन कि हाँ ऐसे होगा देन ये ऐसे होगा देन थोड़ा थोड़ा करके यू गेट दी आइडिया कि क्वेश्चन होते कैसे देन आप चौथा क्वेश्चन बनाओगे तो आप खुद कर पाओगे ओके okay. और ये सर जैसे कि आई 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 के पास पेपर सोल्व करते हैं तो उसमें तो टोटली न्यू ही तरह का एक क्वेश्चन आ जाता है तो yes. उसको कैसे टैकल करें सो so, अगर आपका स्टार्टिंग में नोट्स डन है यू गॉन थ्रू द कंपाइलर तो आपको बेसिक आइडिया तो लग गया है कि क्वेश्चन कैसे आएंगे हाँ उसमें आई आई के पेपर में हल्का सा थोड़ा सा ज्यादा लेवल का क्वेश्चन आ जाता है थिंग इज उसके लिए भी फिर सब जैसे बोलते हैं डिफरेंट वे टू डू दैट क्वेश्चन so iske liye you need to go through it at least matlab aisa different question aaya to at least do teen bar you need to see because ek bar mein yaad nahi hota hai right okay thank you so uh, shruti like what motivated you uh, like you started preparing just after the exam right this is something positive about you yeah. so can you please guide us that uh, whether the students should wait for the results or they should start immediately after giving the exams by taking one or two day break so what is the importance of those two months of uh, result waiting period in a student's career so so i think ki uh, ekdam se to nahi hota ek do din to bahut kam hote hai like to take rest cuz pura ek mahina insaan pad raha hai to ekdam se to nahi khulti hai book wapas wo andar se hi nahi aata hai motivation ya discipline so like i think you should take at least 15 20 days just Don't overburden yourself at that time. Paper हो चुका है भूल जाओ अभी 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 उससे पहले वट एवर यू कुड डू यू दैट वॉज इन यूर हैंड बट नाउ इट इज इंट जस्ट फॉर गेट अबाउट दैट स्टार्ट अ न्यू वन पिक अप अव चैप्टर को पेपर तो देना ही है भले ही ये वाला नहीं हुआ तो दूसरे में दे देंगे पेपर तो देना ही है तो जस्ट पिक अप अनादर वन स्टार्ट स्टार्टिंग कुछ डिसिप्लिन रहेगा तो आगे के लिए भी ईजी रहेगा So anyone else who would like to ask any other question, Shruti, one last piece of advice that you would like to basically add to all the IIA aspirants and all the CS1 aspirants, like, uh, like what what should be the best uh, way in the next uh, like two to three months for them? Okay, so I'll say that first of all, if you're done with the one second. Yeah. So first of all, if you're if you're going through this uh, notes and all, like first of all, finish that properly, patiently, obviously, and then try to do as much as questions as you can. Then for III previous year papers, very important. Math is important. The back questions are very important. They can give you anything, obviously, and never think that a concept is too small, because. it's not they can give any num- like they can give a 30 mark question from that i i i got one in december only so don't give importance to the concept just take it as a whole and do it so mehak is having a question 
तो मैं कैन यू प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेश्चन uh you can do that but i believe if concept ke baad if you directly move on to the questions that will strengthen your concepts a lot more then uh, if you leave the compiler for march that will be a that will be a little difficult वैसे अभी feb mein 11 days hai if you can finish all your concept within 11 days and then uh, would, um, uh keep every and if you can uh, complete all the compiler in march then sure you can do that ऑब्वियसली अपना हिसाब का तो इंसान को ही पता होता है ना कि लाइक आप कितने किस किस हिसाब से कर सकते हो तो वो प्लानिंग आपको ही करनी पड़ेगी बट या यू कैन डू दैट इफ यू वांट बिकॉज अभी आई आई के पेपर वैसे भी मे में है या यू कैन डू दैट ओके थैंक यू सो मच श्रुति फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड शेयरिंग ऑल द वैल्यूएबल फीडबैक्स ऑन सीएस1 अटेम्प्ट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर